don't think that yours is loud enough, <laughs> but it was a good try, though. Hi. <laughs> I, I, I had to get it done real quick there because I know, you know, that's our normal lead in. So I had to start it off that way. See, I always get confused when we do the clap because it's like, OK, so when do we do that? Yeah, <laughs> you, you do like the clap, you do the clap and then you wait and then you do the. Yeah. Anyways, welcome, welcome back, everybody. Back. Hi. It's another episode of what we learned this week. Episode 58. 58? 58. 58. That's what we're on now. 580. Five epi- oh, God. Can you imagine the day that one we day. reach 580? It's one, one day, day from now, yeah. That's a, it's a long <laughs> way. So we're going to still be here. Mm-hmm. We'll still be the same equipment, same people, and that's it. It'll yeah. just be, you know, doing the same. Oh, eventually we'll make it <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> road from- to 1,000. <laughs> Hashtag road to 1,000 subscribers. We've gained like another 100 in 10 years. Holy shit. Oh, I love it. Well, welcome back, everybody. Hi. It's another w- lovely episode. It's Memorial Day, the it day that Memorial we're recording day, yeah. this. None of us had to work, so, mm. well, yeah. we do it anyways, but yeah. we don't have to go into work at an actual job where we have a boss. So that was mm. good. That was right. a fun time. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, it was a good weekend. I had a lot of fun. I got Pretty burnt so. out yesterday from yeah. kayaking. But uh, I am fried. Yeah, that was that was a successful trip. Absolutely, though. it was Absolutely. a long trip, but it Where'd was you guys successful. Go to? You can... uh, like the Sugar River, <clears throat> we took oh. the Sugar Sugar River down. It's like probably, well, with stops, it's probably what an eight hour trip or something like yeah, that. That's yeah. a good place to do that. It was good. It was, yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful river. Yeah, we, 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 did, we did that last year. It was a lot of fun. We got yeah. fucked up. Yeah, I was oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, man, I was it was fun. Hammered. It was a good time. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, I'm gonna lead right into it mm. with the shameless plugs here. Do it. All right, you ready for it? You guys should go press, press, pass on our subscribe button on YouTube, okay? I'm going to say this once for you. Don't hit it. Just hit it. Don't quit it. Hit it. Pass it to your friends. Run a train on the subscribe. Hashtag road to 1K. Go do it. Go to the YouTube. If you're listening to our voices right now, what could possibly, and you're thinking, what could possibly make this better of a podcast? I have the answer. It's watching us as you hear our voices. Mm -hmm. And you can only do that on YouTube. So you should go check that out. On YouTube. All right, cool. That one's done. <laughs> Patreon.com backslash WWLTW podcast. Go check that out as well. Support the show. You get fun stuff at any tier that you join on. If you join at the lowest tier, you still get invited to the f- secret Facebook group. You get you get to see all the extra content. You get to see what we watch this week. Which is just goddamn hilarious. Which is fucking gold. <laughs> if we've narrowed it down to this niche and it's perfect now, okay? So you need to go check it out. If you join at higher tiers, you get even better stuff. You get merch. You get to pick topics for shows sometimes. It's just, you should just go join. Go do it. Support it's the show. Stuff. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Check out our merch channel, teespring.com. I don't know, backslash something or other. I don't know what it is, but it's in the description of everything that we have. We have mugs with our mugs on it. We have t-shirts with our mugs on it. We yep. have stickers with our mugs on it. We have everything that you could possibly want with our mugs. You could get a shower curtain with our mugs on it. That's all I'm saying. It's an option. It's an option. We could see your boobies. You could be taking a shower. It's great. You know I'm, not, what I'm, I'm not in the picture, so I can't see your boobies. You can't see your, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. We're getting there. Um, <clears throat> what, what's my other shameless plugs here? Astro Design Company. Yeah, come visit us at astrodesigncompany.com. Uh, tell us or tell us that you came from the podcast, and we'll get you a little discount on your next website. Yeah, and it's some bomb ass websites. This guy's know, yeah, this we, guy knows what he's doing. We make stuff for uh, for high performing companies all across the globe. Do it across the nation. We out mm-hmm. here doing big things. Check out Thirst Homeless on the YouTube. We're doing some collaborations with him, so make sure to give him a like. Check him out. He's got some cool stuff on there. Check out Johnny Wishbone on the YouTube for all your heavy equipment operating needs because the guy's got all kinds. He's got content coming out on the weekly now, basically. I can't confirm that, but it seems like it's pretty much weekly now. He's got some good stuff. I'll be honest. Oh, what's the last one here? Do I have any more? Skillshare. You can check out Skillshare.com. Yeah. Because that's what we use. We have fun Mm -hmm. with it. You should check it out and have fun with it too. This isn't an affiliate either. Like this is just us saying, go better yourself. Quarantine's ending, but that doesn't mean you can. You have to stop bettering yourself. But Skillshare, we are totally, totally willing to sell out. (laughs) A (laughs) hundred percent, we will sell out for you if you need it, dude. We're here for it. Um, All right, so let's jump right into the skills here for last Mm -hmm. week. Did, let's start with this. Did we all do a skill for last yes. week? I didn't do the exact one that I said I was going to do because I realized I have no artistic talent. So <laughs> I could have told you that. I'm oh, just thanks. kidding. Well, I, I can't draw with the shit. Especially, I can't even draw with pencil. I don't know why I was thinking I can draw on a computer. Yeah, it's even but, harder. But I did, however, utilize some 3D rendering software on my computer to build out like a 
uh, visual thing with with three D animation. It's so, pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. we uh, we'll, we'll post it on the on the Instagram. Yeah, uh, we'll send you like a still of it because I'm not going to yeah. render the whole entire. Oh yeah, thing. no, we'll just That's, send a still uh, on the Instagram page. It's pretty cool. We'll Actually, I learned it from a Skillshare class, so go check it out. Boom. Yeah. yeah, love it. Awesome. What was the biggest part of that that you learned? Just understanding how visual visualization works when you're dealing with three D parts. You know, because like you have to be able to like move like a virtual camera around and like set. Scenes and lighting and all like that kind of dizzy. stuff. It's it's difficult. <laughs> it's just it's just shit that you never think about like when you're watching like a 3D rendered movie. Right. It's just like oh you, you still have to put up lighting and you still have to put up like scenes that, yeah, and like environments stuff, and stuff. Yeah. And it's just nuts. So yeah, it's seriously that. cool. It's a lot of fucking work. I can see why those animators get paid so fucking much. Hell yeah, it's man! It's a lot crazy. of work. How about you, Beth? What um, you get? So my skill last week was to. Just kind of find the foundations outside of doubling down on that uh, the one from the previous week, um, which I watched a fundamental video for um, like the beginnings of the or like a tattoo process essentially. So it was an individual talking about his process in creating certain uh, certain like pieces like with, right. with minor ins- or well, minor influ- or influence um, from the uh, from the client and uh, drop my pen and drop your uh, pen. wow. So I'm a fuck up today. I, it's a bad day for me. <laughs> yeah, Drake is living his best life Fried. out here, folks. Um, so yeah, so that was really cool to get an idea and kind of some perspective from from an artist uh, that's been tattooing for a long time. And then my skill from last week was I wanted to find a starting class for what would essentially be again uh, fundamentals because I want to, in the same regard uh, as the uh, the the modeling. I wanted to figure out how I could become better at just like drawing, you know? Right. And one of the classes I had found was fucking, it was basically like, basically like muscle toning. So like mm. you, you're teaching yourself and it's, it's basically, you're basically. Muscle memory for yeah. your, for drawing. Yeah. So you're, you're doing different shapes and different, different, you know, calligraphy kind of things to where you're, you're keeping that motion high end so mm, you're, you're okay. just continuously keeping your brain active with that that process hmm. and building those foundations to start being able to look at things in a different perspective because right now like um what i what the biggest thing that i pulled away from that the beginner class was looking at things in a different a different spectrum i guess and not necessarily with color but like with the way that things are Completed with shapes. So instead of looking at like a cat, you know, like a... a You're looking a, at the shapes that make the, the that foundation m- of the cat. Exactly. Mm. And that's kind of a, a super easy way to break down shapes that seem intimidating or yeah, like pictures right. that you're trying to recreate that are intimidating is breaking them down into actual shapes. Basic shapes. Nice. Yeah, that's really interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love it. That's so awesome. it, was, it was really cool. It was really, really interesting. Super intimidating because I can't... I'm in the same fucking boat. I can't draw for shit. Yeah, I, yeah. I tried to. I, I spent... What a good day trying to figure out yeah, how to I draw us as cartoons. Draw and I can't fucking anything. Fucking it. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's yeah, an it art. That's, def- that's for sure. I mean, it's, really it's, fucking cool. Really cool take, shit. Take really, time. really cool way to think about things. Yeah, oh, it is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Breaking it down into its simplest form, for sure. Yeah. Um, so mine was, <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of learn more about Adobe because we got like the full spectrum of Adobe software now. So I'm like trying to get more comfortable with programs that I think we could use mm-hmm. for this. And um, so one of them, I just happened to fall on to... Um, <clears throat> Lightroom and Photoshop were the two that I kind of just there was a class that I fell into with it and it was interesting because the class I thought it was going to be more about like Photoshop and everything and how right. to use it but mm-hmm. it was actually like creating Instagram layouts is what the guy was oh, doing that's cool. so it was like <clears throat> yeah basically like the template of successful Instagram and it's like how to create a good timeline on there because when somebody goes to visit your page, you want an aesthetically pleasing like page to the eye. So mm-hmm. like your first six photos or every six photos, because it shows three at a time in a line, every mm-hmm. six photos should match color scheme and like kind of the basic colors should okay. all match up with each other. So you That's should have the same so you filters. create a flow for... Right, it should be a, a flow. So like your six pictures, like if you have one picture on the beach, then the next five pictures should be somewhere near or around a beach or something like that with mm-hmm. similar like color tones. Hmm. And it just makes it a lot more... <clears throat> you get a lot more engagement out of posts for that and out of like people joining because they see that and go, oh my God, like that's so pleasing to the eye. I want to see that on my timeline. Right. You know what I mean? 
Um, and then the other thing that I thought was interesting is people that are big on Instagram will choose their set colors that they like to work with. So if somebody likes to do, I don't know, nature shots and they do mostly like uh, hiking and forests and stuff, your, their basic colors that they use for almost every photo that they're editing with are going to be like green, a beige, and say maybe like a blue or a white if they have sky in the background. Mm-hmm. But those are like their base colors that they use for every photo for the tinting and everything like that, mm. which is kind of interesting. They have like set colors that they use and you can go mm. and then so I learned, you know, in Lightroom how you can customize templates for, you know, basically like this is the filter that I want to create. It's basically, it's called a LUT, which is, um, oh, what is what does that stand for? I can't remember what the name, what it stands <laughs> for, but it's basically a LUT is like a color scheme and a color palette that right. you can just click and it will filter onto onto the photo. Oh, sure. very cool. So okay. people will create custom ones for the types of photos that they take, and they'll just blow those up nice. and put them on there. So That's it's really, really kind of interesting. Um, I would have to completely revamp my entire Instagram in order to do it, but I'm trying to like do it from here on out. Mm-hmm. So it just like phases the other older pictures out slowly. But I'm not really yeah. too active on Instagram. I just like to watch other people's posts. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm trying to get more in, active on there because that seems to be a big form of media lately. Yeah. So I'm trying to get I'm trying to get us more active on there too. So like, mm-hmm. go join our Instagram page. I, d- I just downloaded Facebook active. the other day to watch the uh, the coffee talks. <laughs> coffee talks. What up? <laughs> I, I did not have fa- uh, Facebook downloaded on my phone. You know, you're one of the few. But now I do, so no, yeah, I'm not one of the few anymore. Now you're trapped into it. You're trapped in the cycle. <laughs> Damn it. Um, so what do you guys got for this week before we hop into our little fun thing we're going to do? What do you got for skills this week? I definitely I definitely want to continue down the drawing stuff, so I think I'm going to find um, either a progression by the same person who made that that previous class, or I'm going to find um, more abstract, kind of like finding your style kind of a thing. So oh, like right. an open inspiration <laughs> kind of a class to at least like, start to narrow myself down, you know, instead of just having a broad spectrum of all these different things and all these different styles of drawing and everything, find something that's appealing to me right? to start working towards. There you go. So I like it. How about for you? Uh, so I'm actually on this little path of trying to become a uh, like a junior developer almost. So mm-hmm. I, uh, I'm, I'm learning all these different skills to try to get my way worked up there. So I think that what I'm going to do over the week is that I'm going to get certified in some sort of new programming language. So I'm going to try like to like HTML it. coding well, and type I, stuff. I, or? I'm, I'm good with the HTML stuff. I'm trying to get better with like JavaScript. Oh. And better with like um, I don't know, maybe Ruby or anything like that, where like it takes a little bit more time to learn all the back end stuff. So, oh yeah, nice. So I think I'm going to get certified in some sort of language over the week. So nice. I, I've heard I like that you it. could do it in under a week. So I'm going to try to fit that timeline. <laughs> so. Good luck. Yeah. Wish you the best. Uh, I think for me, I'm going to focus this week, I'm going to try and do more like, uh, learn more about the audio visual, audio and visual type stuff. So AV kind of, AV tech stuff, I guess I should say. So like proper setup for volumes and stuff like that and, you know, mids, highs and lows, Mm -hmm. proper setup for video. Like I've already done some stuff for color correction. Like I've done stuff, I've learned stuff post, Mm -hmm. but I want to learn stuff like pre-recording and everything like that so more the actual basic setups and everything like that so I think I'm going to focus on that yeah it'd be awesome looks super cool nice so we got our skills so real nice let's pop into the fun stuff now we're going to do you good? yeah it's just really tough getting this pen cap off (laughs) alright so (laughs) shout out all noodle right now shout out to one of our fans uh, that actually uh, requested this and they sent us a link to a personality test Mm -hmm. seven questions and you have to, an- we're going to write them down so that nobody can change their answer after they see what the answers relate to. So we're all going to write them down. So we're all held responsible for w- if one of us comes out a psychopath, you can't change <laughs> the answers in your head because it's going to be written down. So basically, it's seven questions that we answer. I have not read any of these, I have not looked at the thing. I've just opened the webpage. That's it. So I'm not cheating in any way either. Mm-hmm. But um, you answer seven questions, and it has to be like kind of first, first thought. Yeah. Like your first thought to those answers or to those questions, basically. Okay. So is it is it multiple choice or either is it just I like belie- I don't know. I think it might be multiple choice. It might say like pick between these three or something like mm-hmm. that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm like I said. I'm going in blind. So, <laughs> what's your favorite pizza topping? Cheese, pepperoni. I'm a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple and bubble gum. You're a psychopath. <laughs> So, all right, you guys ready for this? Let's you guys do ready this. to become psychos? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's see this. So, first question here 
Think of an open field. How big is the field? What is it filled with? And what are the surroundings like? Ooh. And you guys can try this at home, too. Write them down and, let, and comment your answers and what you get. So it's Just an open field? Yeah, open field. Mm-hmm. This is going to be really bad for the people in uh, in the audio that don't get to watch this and see what the hell we're doing because <laughs> we're just sitting here writing it. What is it filled with and what are the surroundings like? Maybe we should put some like elevator music over this part. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on mine. You guys let me know when you're done. Oh, you guys are writing fucking All right, I'm good. paragraphs out here. There you go. I'm just putting basic answers. <laughs> All right, ready? Think of a cube. How big is the cube? What is it made of? What is the surface like? What color is it? Where in the field is it? Where is the cube on the ground floating, etc.? Is it transparent? If so, can you see inside? Oh, this is a fucking yeah. Field. This, is, this is a yeah. giant fucking question. How big is? The, all right, so let's start with this. How big is the cube? Large. Huge. <laughs> fucking huge. Fucking itch. All right, and then what is it made of, and what is the surface like? Well, it's a cube, so the surface has to kind of be. Well, okay, never mind. What is it made of? Uh. uh all right, got that. Uh, what color is it? Uh, I don't know. Depends on what it's made of. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, what? Where in the field is it? Oh, it has to be in the field. Yep, it's gotta be in the field. Oh well, shit. Uh, um, where is the cube on the ground, floating, etc.? And is it transparent? If so, can you see inside? Yeah, this is. I'm interested to see how this progresses on. Yeah, this seems because I wasn't expecting really it to type. Right I wasn't here. expecting yeah. all this shit. Yeah. Think of a ladder. How long is the ladder? Where is it located in the field? What's the distance between the ladder and the cube? Hmm. Why, why, what kind of ladder? Or how? No. How is long it, is the how ladder? How long is the ladder? Okay, I put the wrong answer. <laughs> I, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so how long is the ladder? Uh, where is it located? And what is the distance between the ladder and the cube? All right, you guys, let me know when you're done. This is this is this is interesting. Okay, this this next one's gonna get weird. Just wait. All right. You, you guys ready? Yeah. I'm waiting on Drake. Oh, you're good. Okay. Think of a horse. What color is the horse? What is the horse doing? And where is it in relation to your cube? Hmm. Jesus, what the, the horse fuck? is. Uh, um. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And what was it? Okay, so what? What, uh, what is the horse doing? Uh. Uh. Okay. And where is it in the relation to the cube? Okay. Let me know when you guys are done. Yeah, sorry for our audio people, but, you know, if you give us a couple more minutes, we'll be able to talk more about yeah, all of this. Yeah, this is definitely interesting. I'm, yeah. I, I feel like I'm overanalyzing my options it's here. I feel like the ending is just yeah. Oh, you got all the way through. This means you're probably a psychopath. Yeah, this, means, <laughs> this means you probably have murdered someone in your in your past life. All right, there's only a few more questions all right, left. Think, yeah, we only got three more left. Think of flowers. Where are the flowers in your field, and how many are there? Doesn't ask us what kind of flower. That's fucking rude. 
There's all the flowers. So that was a simple one. I could put. I could do that one easily. So where are the flowers in your field, and how many are there? I am interested to see what your guys' answers are too. Yeah. Okay. Think of the weather in the field. What is it like? Is it raining? Sunny? Is your field foggy? Uh, all right. That was easy. And then we're going to the last one here. You're good. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Think of a storm. What is the distance between the storm and the cube? Is it a big storm or is it just passing through? Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So, is it a big storm? What is the distance between the storm and the cube? Uh, is it a big storm? And is it just passing through? All right, that was the last <coughs> one, I believe, folks. We okay. done? Yeah. We ready to hear about all this? Okay, mm -hmm. before moving on to interpretations of your visions, reimagine the entire scenario once more. Make sure that the image in your head is clear. And we've written it down. We've mm -hmm. written down our, our things here. So, All right, how to interpret the visions. Now they have a clear picture of field and everything in it, it's time to see what it says about who you are. Below you'll find sections corresponding with each element in your vision. Scan the tables for your answer. If none of the options below feel quite right, choose the closest match. Oh, these are weird. So this is actual. Oh, that was. Oh, this is just the field. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the field represents your mind. Its size is the representation of your knowledge and the world and how vast your personality is. Hmm. The condition of the field, dry, grassy, or well-trimmed, is what your personality looks like at first glance. So, what did you guys put for what type of field? Uh, I put long grass and hills, trees on the outside. Yeah, lush, so or really lush, <laughs> lush grass and I greenery. Put, I put a large field with pr a prairie with flowers and forest and the surrounding area. Go. So, let's see. If it's dry and dead... You're feeling a bit pessimistic. If it's grassy and healthy, you're feeling optimistic. Yay. If it's well trimmed, you are analytic and cautious. Yours is not well trimmed. Yours is not well trimmed. Mine's not well trimmed. So <laughs> none of us are analytic and cautious. I would put most of us at feeling, feeling optimistic. optimistic. That's a good. I mean, it's Glad grassy. You, guys are feeling optimistic. you know, there's there's fields, there's flowers. I would I would say that we definitely are grassy and healthy. Look at yeah. that, 69% people Jeez, chose nice, grassy and nice. healthy. <laughs> All right, the cube. The cube represents you. The size of the cube is your ego. The surface of the cube represents what is visibly observable about your personality, or maybe it is what you want others to think about you. The texture of the cube, smooth, rough, or bumpy, represents your nature. So, if it's smooth, you are a gentle person who takes care not to hurt others or make them feel uncomfortable. Well, I chose smooth. I smooth. <laughs> yeah. You guess it too? Yeah. yeah. Shit. We all chose smooth? We all chose yeah. smooth. Wow. How big was it though? I said knee high. Uh, okay, so we're going to go. It's, it, it keeps on with the oh, cube. Okay. There's gotcha. more There's gotcha. more tables. Um, so if you guys, if I'm going to say the rest of them too for everybody else that played this game. If you chose rough, you're more straightforward. You tend to be honest in everything you say, no matter how it might affect the person you're talking to. Interesting. Bumpy or spiky, you have a tendency to criticize others and attempt to make them feel inter inferior to you. Mm. Interesting. The color of the cube is more in-depth analysis of yourself. Each color can represent an emotion or entire personality together. However, these are the most common. If it's red, wait, what'd you guys choose for your color? I put see-through. Gray. I put see-through. Yeah, I put, <laughs> I put gray. Gray. Because it, it hasn't asked us about a material actually, yet. Actually, I put translucent. Yeah. Mm. So I put transparent. Yeah. yeah. Trans because I want I imagined like rainbowy kind of like. Oh, so like a, one of those like, like color, pearlescent, yeah. pearlescent is what I meant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Almost yeah. like a prism esque yeah. kind of. Yep, yeah. Yep. That's exactly what I thought. So if you chose red, you're physically active and and enjoy rich sensory experiences. <laughs> wait, wait, Drake, you chose gray. I chose gray. You are self confident, independent, and not easily rattled. Yeah, that's what. Look right. at you, bud. Yeah. Look at you. Uh, white, you are kind, independent, and self reliant. I don't know where would we fall. Other cube yeah. characteristic or no? That's would probably we, another. Would we pick white? I guess white. White yeah. would be all right. Well, if you chose yellow, you're sociable, cherish your and cherish your individuality. If you chose blue, you're intelligent and respect others' ideals. Violet, you're intelligent and a bit perfectionist. You are also mysterious. Black, you have a strong sense of individuality and independence, and you put a high value on alone time. Hmm. And we chose white 
I guess, which you kind you are kind, independent, and self reliant. All right. <clears throat> In some cases, the physical characteristics of the cube are unique. Oh nope, never mind. Here we are. This is me and you. <laughs> a cube with a transparent surface means you tend to let others know how you feel on the inside. You're confident enough to show your inner thoughts and your deep and you are deeply sincere. Hmm. You know that you are good inside, and guess what? It shows. That's what most people see in you as well. Hell yeah, bud. Nice. <laughs> Fucking, we're genuine nice. as fuck out here. A cube, we out here being genuine. <laughs> a cube made of water or ice indicates that you let external elements influence you completely. Your personality is sensitive to social pressures, relationships, and other environmental factors. Fuck no. A hollow cube <laughs> means that you're primarily concerned with your outside appearance with far less care than what's going on within. However, this does not mean that you have nothing to offer on the outside or inside. Cube made of metal or rock. Okay, oh, yeah. so that what, would. What would you? What would so these were these were of? the actual like made of. Yeah. Shit. So mine mm -hmm. was made of smooth glass. So mine mine would have been transparent. Yeah. Steel. So metal. So metal. What was yours? Mine was glass. Yeah, we were glass. Okay. So a cube made of metal or rock indicates you have solid integrity. Your personality is so strong that it cannot be bent or influenced by any external force. You are dominant and consistent. Nice, dude. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Alpha. So we chose smooth. <laughs> 88% had smooth Shit. for their surfaces. Oh, okay. So the ladder. The ladder was what what one? Oh, yeah, number 3. Mhm. Mm All right. The so ladder. Let's, yeah, let's let's give our our shit. Okay, so the ladder mm -hmm. I chose uh it, it's a large a long ladder leaned up against the cube and mm -hmm. it's so it would be next to the cube in relation because it's leaned up against it. Like yeah. going to the top. Would you choose? My cube was too small cuz I only had it about a foot wide. So um, I have a 10-foot ladder that's near the center of the field by the cube. Oh, yeah. Where did you guys put the cube? The center. 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 And yeah. how large was your cube? Small. Knee high. Like, mine, mine was like a... Mine was wide. fucking giant. Was it? <laughs> like, <laughs> huge. <laughs> so, okay. So, you picked... What you picked? Uh, what was the ladder for you? Uh, it was near the near the center of the, of the field by the cube, but it was 10 feet wide and laid down. All right. Interesting. Yeah. How about for you? Uh, story tall ladder. It's located, leaned up against the cube in relation in, in the center of the field. All right, so we were all leaned up against the cube. Well, yours was uh, next to the cube, laid it was down. Near it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yours was leaned up. Mine was leaned up. Mine was huge because it went to the top. Yours yep. was ten foot, and yours was a story tall, story but tall. it was just leaned against the cube. Okay, so la the ladder represents two different aspects of your life: your goals and your friendships. First, let's mm. take a look at what the ladder says. So, if you chose short, your goals are realistic and simple. Ladder distance: it's near. You're putting maximum effort and focus into achieving your goals. So mine's, so we're all near. Mm -hmm. So we're mm -hmm. all doing, we're, we're definitely all putting in maximum effort and focus to achieving our goals. Hell yeah. Nice. That's what's up. Um, but. <laughs> but, so a long ladder. So what's what's the difference? What's, di what's long and short? I literally put 10 feet for mine, so that's pretty long. Well, yeah, short, short in relation would probably be like a step ladder. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we all chose long. Your goals are more far-fetched and difficult to attain. Fuck you, quiz. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, it's, but it's true. It is true. Far, if it's far away, which none of ours are, you aren't putting much thought or effort into achieving your goals. Damn. Well, we definitely did. Mm. So we are all have difficult goals but are striving to achieve them. Yep. Which makes sense because we're all on this fucking Staying podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> now the location and material of your ladder can also tell you how close with your friends. You guessed it. The closer the ladder is to the cube, the stronger the ladder is. It's better in your friendship. Oh, wait. did We, we didn't have to choose between what the material of the ladder was, did we? Mm. I don't think that was one no, a part of the question. No, part of the question. Well, all right. I'm imagining mine's pretty strong if it's going to the top. Yeah. So, ladder distance. If it's near, if your ladder is near the cube, you are very close with your friends. If it's actually leaning on the cube, it means your friends can lean on you for support. Fuck yeah, oh. dog. That's what's oh. up. That's what's up. It's strong. The stronger the material, stone, metal, etc., the stronger the bond. Makes sense. If it's far away, you have a hard time opening up to people and letting them get close to you. And if it's weak, a weak letter indicates a weak bond between you and those around you. Damn. So we all have strong relationships. Mm -hmm. Some of us can be leaned on for support. Mm -hmm. Some of us cannot. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, all right, so the horse. So for the horse, all right. I put white and black grazing, and it's just in front of the cube. I put brown horse eating grass in the distance far away. Ooh. Yeah. So we're gonna have different. We're gonna have different ones. Mm -hmm. What'd you put? Uh, so a paint. So like a tan and white horse grazing, uh, standing a few, yeah, a few feet away from the cube. So we all picked grazing. Mm -hmm. We picked different colors, and we're kind of 
different on the distancing, I would mm-hmm. imagine. All right, so the horse. The horse represents your ideal partner. It could be playing, running around, or grazing right next to your cube or clear off in the distance. So if it's playing, which I almost chose running around playing at first, and then I was yeah. like, ah, I'll just go grazing. So I almost, my if I were to go by first thought, I would have probably done playing, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I chose grazing. <clears throat> So if you're if it's playing, your ideal partner doesn't take life too seriously and or gets bogged down by the little stuff. That is pro- I probably should have picked playing. <laughs> uh, if it's running, your ideal partner will respect respect your space and give you the alone time you crave. If it's sleeping or grazy, your ideal partner is calm and fully committed to you. Oh, never mind, grazing I guess works too. Yeah, grazing. So like if that. it's brown, which you guys That's both chose brown, your prize comfort and rely you prize comfort and reliability above all else. Otherwise, you don't have a specific set of expectations for your partner. Yeah, that pretty much sums Dude. it up. If okay, so mine's black and white. So your ideal partner is dominant, seductive, and sophisticated. And for that's for black. For white, you value loyalty and trust more than anything else. So, so you're a mixture. So you <laughs> so, just you're, you're so just looking want, for a dominatrix. I want a, I want a seductive, <laughs> sophisticated woman that is loyal to my relationship. That. That sounds perfect. That kind of sums me up. I'm going to be totally honest with you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's funny. If your horse is completely different color than the ones listed above, it means you value originality and independence in your partner. You want to be with someone who is fascinating and fascinates and challenges you. One more factor to consider about the horse is the distance from the cube. If it's very Mm. near the cube, it indicates that you prefer where relationships where you spend most of your time with your partner. If the horse is a bit far away from the cube, it indicates you need a partner who will understand and accommodate your desire for alone time. Hmm. Mine's like in front. So like if the cube is here, mine's like out here grazing Mm. in front. So I'm looking here. It's like middle between. I would put the horse in the middle between me and the cube. Okay. Mm. Where you put it? Well, I put mine far away, so I just <laughs> got you to need it. you need alone time. Ooh, but no, I don't like that. I don't but, uh, <laughs> no, I just had my like, kind of like off in the distance. Um, not really sure why I picked that, but it just came to the top of my head. Well, now you know. Mm. I know. Well, shit. Sorry, I was eating ice. <laughs> um, wow, interesting. Okay, so my our horses were all kind of sitting and doing the thing. Wow, forty nine percent chose other. Ours was, I guess we weren't technically sitting, we were grazing, but mm-hmm. what color was the horse? Uh, you guys both chose brown. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Almost all of them chose brown. Shit. I'm in the 16 and 22% apparently. <laughs> all right. So the flowers. The f- oh, yeah. What we, okay. So, so your flowers. I chose everywhere, and there's thousands of them. Yep. Yeah. Spaced out all over. I, I, yeah. I put flowers. hundreds, but yeah, they're all over the place. Yeah. Okay, so the flower represents your family and friends. The number of flowers reflects your popularity and their location indicates how close you are with social groups. If there's just a few, you are close with your family and have a small, tight-knit group of friends. If they're everywhere, you're a social butterfly with family and friends too numerous to count. You'll never be lonely. Yep, sounds about right for us. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All right. Wait, was there a weather condition? Oh, yeah. So the weather condition. uh, That one was simple. That was, we were all social butterflies, which makes sense. Yay. So... (laughs) The next one. What did you guys do? Um. So I put sunny. I put sunny. I put sunny yeah. with a few clouds. Yeah. yeah. I put sunny, bright, and warm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of my go-to. Mm-hmm. So the weather in your field reflects your general outlook on life. There's a reason we have expressions like when it rains, it pours. So if it's raining, rain symbolizes the problems in your life. The harder the rain, the bigger the problems. Fog, you feel uncertainty in life, and you may be struggling with your identity. Wind... Though you tend to worry about future issues, you generally don't let them get you down for long. If it's sun, you're optimistic and carefree. Fucking A right. Cool. All Man, right. You seem to be optimistic as fuck. Hell yeah. So this <laughs> is the last one. This is the storm. So my storm, I put it in the distance. It's a large storm, and yeah. it just passed through. So yeah. it's 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 on its way out. Yeah. I put a small storm with a bit of rain just passing through, but it's off in the distance. Yeah, large funnel clouds off on the horizon. Oh, so it's coming into you? Yeah. Well, yours is coming. Mm-hmm. Ours are going. Yours is small. No, my, mine's, my, mine will be passing through, but right oh, now it's will be passing through. Yeah. So you're mm-hmm. both it's coming. coming. 
into the storm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming into the storm. It's like pissing in the wind. <laughs> ah, <laughs> eat, eat this dick tornado. <laughs> ah. Is that how Thor was born? Can you just imagine somebody? Is get, that <laughs> imagine you're in a tornado and you get shit whipped by somebody oh, else's jism. Just oh my god. Oh my god. What the Dude, fuck? Yeah, out of all, in the, if you're out in all the, the things that could have hit me. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the middle of that fucking storm, that's the last thing you're going to be thinking about. Uh, Jesus. Just all getting right. hit in the face with splooge. So <laughs> the strength and position <laughs> of the storm reflects the strength you're feeling in life as you probably guessed the stronger the storm the closer to the cube the higher your stress level if you imagine a storm raging right above your cube it might be a good idea to work on reducing stress so your guys this is passing through but it's coming in mm-hmm. so you're, mm-hmm. you see stress coming in yeah <laughs> so all right if it's mild and it's just passing through while you aren't immune to stress you know that all things must pass in the background any obstacle that oh wait no we gotta go down yeah we gotta mm-hmm. go down first Okay, so it's strong in the eye of the storm. When you stress, you go all in and have a very hard time pulling yourself out. Mm. Well, (laughs) I definitely had a large storm. (laughs) So Me and Drake had large storms. If it's in the background, any obstacles that might be causing you grief or not at the forefront of your mind, you are good at managing your anxiety. So mine's in the background, yours is in the background, yours is in the background. Mm Mm-hmm. But your guys are yeah, it's not in. like it's not like right it's over not above. us, yeah. right? Yeah, it's just uh, off in the distance. You are deeply affected by stress. Oh, this is if you're right above. You are deeply affected by stress and have a hard time seeing past it, past it to get back to the bigger picture. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. So, I think it was kind of spot on. Yeah, it was with pretty what good. We chose. I yeah. like that one. It was an interesting one. Yeah. I feel better about myself. If you guys want to taste the, uh, take this test for yourself, what's the website? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, <clears throat> let me see here. You go to. It's a, it's Owlcation? A Owlcation. A, or not, Jesus Christ. It's Owlcation.com. It's O W L C A T I O N. And then j- just type in Owlcation personality test and it should come up. It's called, the personality, personality test is called the field, the cube, the ladder, horse, and flower question. So check it out. Kind of, kind of relating to the personality test stuff. Uh, do you guys believe in uh, any of that um, astrology stuff, or like, oh, like your connection like with signs, the moon and the stars the signs and, and shit? And shit? Like that? Yeah, I, no, I think they're very generalized descriptions. Yeah, that's what I that think it's too. like this could apply to anyone. When, whenever I read any of those, like freaking like uh, what are they called? Just horoscopes. 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 Yeah, it's just like oh, this applies to literally everybody on the on it's Earth. It's crazy that know? people use it to dictate choices in their life, though. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I guess I, I very much, like, I, I feel that there is a connectivity with the stars, but right, I don't, but do you I think couldn't, I'm not checking every fucking day to see what, what somebody writes in as my right. horoscope. Right. Like, that, that I don't it's know, to me. It's belief. And the idea that, I don't know, my favorite, my favorite line is uh, Mercury's in retrograde. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mercury's it's in retrograde. Always. That's buying an ass, being like, an what asshole. What the fuck? Like, No. Like in the moon, the moon thing, like the moon is a tangible force that that affects the gravity and the fucking the way that our world works. Right. Okay. That has an actual effect. The yeah, stars, of course. not so much. I, I mean, saw, this is what ebb and flow is. I saw the fun. Right. Actually, I think you saw it too. This goes off the horoscope thing. There was this guy that posted this fucking status. Oh he's my like, god. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He was like, yeah. So this one time, I uh, tricked this girl. Into thinking I was a, a Scorpio. Yeah, she was like, like a, yeah, she was huge in the horoscope. I tricked this horoscope girl into thinking I was a Scorpio so that I could hook up with her because mm-hmm. she thought we were um, compatible. Compatible. Yeah. And he and he goes, uh, he goes. When in actuality, I'm a I'm a Libra. And so then, you know, like, uh, you know, whatever, the comments start rolling in and, yeah. and everybody's like, oh, like two that, weeks later, that's such yeah. a Libra thing to do and everything. <laughs> and he go, he puts in an edit and he goes, edit, for all you saying that's such a Libra thing to do, I'm actually a Leo, so get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so good. Hey, what do you guys, I'll look, I'll look ours up. I'm a Pisces. I'm, I'm a Taurus. Taurus. What yeah. are you? I'm a Aries. Aries. Yeah. Nice. Right. And I, that's the other thing I don't understand while you're looking this up. Yeah. That's the other thing, too, is it's like. How can you base a relationship off off of a horoscope? Well, even, even just like characteristics of the of individual. Sign. Like, I mean, you know, there are there are there are base characteristics that you can kind of categorize people in depending on when when they are. You born think so? In the you year. think each sign has like base? Not the per- sign so much, but like season wise. If you're born in a specific season, you are more perpetuated to have specific kinds of like personality traits. Show Which me is the a thing. Of that. I, I will. I'll, I'll look up the science for that. 
Because I, I have the Pisces horoscope. Oh, yeah. shit. Here we go. Let's oh, hear it. fuck. So for today, things are apt <laughs> to get intense for you today, Pisces. There will be a lot of information coming your way, but but all of it won't be good. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck Let us. me look this up. <laughs> so, so, someone appears to be putting a roadblock in your path and making it difficult for you to pass. Don't let this, don't let this stop you. Uh, wait, go back. Fucking sick. I have a pitch tomorrow that I have to do, <laughs> too, so like, I'm you, real excited. Use your creative ability to, to uh, resolute, er, in resolute nature to find ways around any obstacle. There fucking mint, dude. I got just get out of my way, obstacles, because I'm here. <laughs> I'm a fucking Pisces. Fuck off. I'm about to run through these what, obstacles, you say? bud. You're, you're a Tauros? Yeah. Tauros? Toros, Toros, Toros. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It just seems weird that like you can base that off of like a relationship. Anyways, well, so, right, well Taurus. relationships offer like day to day decisions. Yeah, that's it's stupid. like uh, that's dumb. I, honestly, I, I mean, it is good advice to be using for anybody. And a lot of but, it could be optimistic shit. Too. Yeah, but you, you can literally put like if you wrote the shit on like playing cards and you just took out a fucking playing card. Yeah. And was like, hey, like. Do that today. Daily it's going to help out somehow. Yeah, absolutely. You know? yeah, it's like I the self-help It's like, the I, I right can see that. It's like a self-care kind of thing. Yeah. Where you read it every day, and it's like, cool, this is some motivational stuff. So, like, all right, uh, here's the one for Taurus. So, focus on simple pleasures today, Taurus. Uh, under ner- normal circumstances, you'd be tempted to seek happiness and, and peace in far-off lands through expensive recreational activities. Realize that everything you need is already inside of you. That's the opposite of Drake. Drake has never cared about expensive activities. Yeah. Drake would rather do the simplest pleasures in thing in yeah. life, unless you count expensive expensive activities as video games. Realize that, well, that the, like the beauty resides all around you, shit. rather than whatever you might load into an online shopping cart. Ooh, Ooh. they got you on the video game yeah. shopping cart. <laughs> I think, I, they got you on that one a little bit there, bud. All right, and then for me, I got I got one here. Yeah, what, and you're an Aries. Yeah, yeah, because I'm right at the end of that because I'm uh, March 23rd. Mm. So oh, so you're the yeah. you're the split between me and yep. And, your head might might be buzzing with with activity areas. It seems like the spotlight suddenly has been turned on. Your mind is on stage and your brain power is being tested. Are you prepared for the challenge? Ready or not, here it is. Remember the importance of individuality. Uh, don't become another typical cookie from the same old cookie cutter. See, all of these could be applied to anyone. Yeah. That's the yeah. thing. Is it's like you could apply this to literally anyone's Insert life. I could have said here. I'm a Leo and gone, oh my god, yeah, that's so me. Oh my god, totally. But I'm not a fucking Leo. I'm yeah. a Pisces. It's just, just like, getting these wrong, it's wrong just, horoscopes. It's yeah, it's it's terrible. someone someone telling you about yourself. Yeah, and that's fun. They're making you're the epicenter yeah. of that. That people topic. love hearing their name. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I get to be somebody's talking point. Yeah. Stupid! It's I about stupid. me. It fucking! It's about like me. it's cool if you want to. Song b- was written about for me. <laughs> it's cool if you want to believe in horoscopes, like yeah. whatever you got to do to get by in life. But just know that the rest of us. I feel like I feel like it's a tool. I feel uh, I feel like yeah, it's it's a tool to use to either keep that positivity and optimism, or yeah, but you can't use it to explain life. No, that's the thing. It's people that like say the Mercury's in retrograde thing. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm a Leo, so that's why I do it that way. No, it's not. You say it that way because you're fucking asshole. Mm. <laughs> that's why you say it that way yeah, because it external forces in your yeah. life have caused you to grow up to gain the personality that you yeah, have. Right. It's not some astrological fucking being yeah. that's like, oh no, you were born at this time. This is who you are. This is your personality forever. traits forever, and you can never change those traits. You will forever have those traits, and people will decide what kind of person you are based off of your traits. No, that's not happening. Yeah. It's not. I could name another Pisces that's going to have a completely different personality than me. Yeah. Hmm. It's just stupid. I don't know. Yeah. It's fine. Horoscopes, dumb. I think I think those those definitely don't. You think I, I'm, though, I'm not here that, to shit on everybody else's belief, nope, but, but nope. also yeah. like you're get, stupid. Get your shit together. You're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but like it's fine to use it for outlook. Yeah, it's not yeah. fine to use it to explain things that you do. No. It's it's fine to use yeah, for like for self-care and shit like that. That's fine. But yeah. don't don't like your actions yeah. are what describe you. Yeah. Don't use it as a tool yeah. to describe being a, to, to explain yeah. away being a tool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On the, on, yeah. On the, on the back ends of things, like if you're using it as a crutch, like if you get, if you get cornered in a fuck, in a fucked up situation mm-hmm. and that's like your, your go-to justification is like, Oh, well, you know how Libras are, or you know how Leos are, or what the fuck ever, whatever sign we're going to use in that yeah, example. That airy son of a that's bitch. Dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's you. That's you casting off responsibility for actions that you take as an individual, mm-hmm. and it's not based upon what astrological star or sign you fall under. It's your character as an individual. Who came up with the whole sign thing, anyway? It's like, been around uh, for a long time. I mean, time. I know, but like, what time. what civilization was the one that it's did Greeks. the astrological yeah. signage? Well, because even Greeks. even Mayans have. 
Well, because um, didn't there? Well, well yeah. Well, yeah, there's there's, ma- there's many different cultures that had something similar, but for this specific kind of horoscope, it's yeah, the Greeks. it's Greeks. Yeah. And uh, hasn't there been signs that have been taken away? I thought there was like one or two signs that ha- used to be, but are no longer. I think one actually got added because um, the original calendar only had eleven months in it because right. it was split up evenly. But uh, when Caesar w- was in uh, was in rule back in Rome, they they added an, an additional month. The fucking Romans yeah. added an so. extra month to the years, bastards. Yeah, but that's that's all that I remember from that though. So interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I just <clears throat> again, I don't know if I can believe the that the the I can't believe that the the time of the year that you're born d- can depict part of. Well, your it doesn't. It doesn't create. It doesn't create you. You're like you're not waking up, you know, being born in winter, and you're going to be, you know, Joe Schmo that is really aggressive when he drinks. That's not. That's not. So what do you mean then? So you have a tendency to go towards specific traits with that. Like people born mm-hmm. in winter can be more. But here's the thing, dude. Isolated and what, more. What if you're born in a part of the country or a part of the world where they don't have season? They don't have a winter or anything. It's just hot year round or it's well, just cold year round. Then you wouldn't fall into that category. Mm-hmm. But everybody's supposed to fall into that category. What so, category are you, you talking that's about? That's what you're saying is like if somebody's born in a well, no, certain with each year, season, a certain time with of each the year. season. But what if you don't have seasons? Then you fit the one that's dry. <laughs> 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 summer is dry, so that falls in so the summer the, category. So, so seasons are what bases it, not the months. Yeah, yeah, no, not months, seasons. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. It seems iffy to me. I'll be honest. That's fine. Like you think there's just base characteristics. Skepticism is good. You think that there's like a pool of characteristics for every season, and if you're born, no, you in have that a season, higher tendency. Right, right. To I, have I, that's what I'm saying. So, like, it, let's say you got a pool full of characteristics for a season, right? right. Like, this is your summer pool of characteristics. Right. If I'm born in summer, yeah. I'm jumping into that pool, and some of those characteristics are bound to attach. Stick to right. Yeah. All of all of I think so. all of Jake's characteristics. Why? Are just bitchy. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, bitchy, but why? Damn it. I'd say. Because you are facing a specific environment. I mean, like, let's look at the personality test. I mean, bright and sunny was always optimistic, and, you know, you never you never saw anything that was negative or pessimistic. Yeah, that with, one was kind of on the nose, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So with that kind of a thing, I'd assume that that's where that would go, whereas, like, snowy or isolated or cozy. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Some along those lines. I can't say that I disagree. Right. But I just can't say that I fully agree as well. Right. I would have to say I'm middle ground on Skepticism that Skepticism is good. Yeah. I just like playing devil's advocate to mm. see, you know, how you back it up, mm. which... Back it up. Eh. Mas o menos. <laughs> eh. <laughs> it, was I it was all right. Um... Yeah, I don't know the horoscope thing. What 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 are some other stuff like like like? Oh, here's another good one. Uh, uh, ter- Torah, tar, tar, tarot card readings. Oh, tarot, 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 tarot card cards. readings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a science. You think that that's real? No, there's a science to doing that. Oh, oh, like it's the like, people that like, actually do it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's They're a game. reading the. Per- it's a, it's a it's number a, game in your head, isn't it? it? To me, it feels like okay. So, here's my interpretation of tarot card readings, mm-hmm. right? The person that is reading those cards, you don't know the part. The other part, I, if I'm reading the cards to you, right, mm-hmm. you don't know what the fuck this card means. I'm gonna say I pick That's up a point. Say I pick up a heart with a blade in it, right? Yeah. I'm literally reading you and what kind of person you are yeah. from my first experiences and what I think you are like and what you want to hear or don't want to hear. Yeah. And I'm just generalizing an idea of what this picture is. Yeah. Because like I could see you as like, oh, he, you know, we we could talk for five minutes and I'd be like, oh. Maybe he's going through like oh yeah a, a, a relationship crisis or something. Like deciding Which a lot of the times, yeah, I can that's see that. what that's what gets brought up. Like, yeah. why are you coming in here? Exactly. It's mm-hmm. like yeah, they yeah. ask these first initial generalized questions, and then they take the cards, and they yeah. basically are just like, yeah, I can. There's, you're basically a psychologist, yeah. and you're just playing into what they what they think they want to hear. I'm using like, these cards to tell you exactly what you want to hear. Exactly. Like, well, this isn't, this isn't had, fucking magic. You're just yeah. reading a person. Yeah, I've had my cards read more than a few times, mm-hmm. and by some of our friends. And oh, I have always, too. They've always come out as different answers. Yeah. Who I am as a person, who I am as an individual, because what my wrong. goals are. Yeah. It's, it's generalized. People pay money to get that shit done. Yeah. How and much that, money are they paying for those? I don't want to know. Because Jesus. But Probably I can only it, it 
it almost upsets need that me spirituality that people. That I mean, connectivity. I get it. It's a form of like I could understand if you go in, you pay for it, and you you go in knowing that hey, this is this is just some hoofy bullshit. Yeah. But I need like to hear some things, you know, yeah. for self care. Fine, but like again, if you're basing life decisions off of shit like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, hopefully they work it's out. Hectic. <laughs> it's hectic. It's hectic. You know, hopefully life's working out for you. Yeah. But like, when shit, if shit doesn't work out, don't go blaming everybody else <laughs> because you based it off of horoscopes and tarot card readings. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You all, know? all I'm saying is don't don't be buying like lottery tickets and shit like this when the stars and horoscopes and tarot cards are telling you to do it. Like, yeah. Just... Um, uh, now, if Make it's a, a fortune cookie, a hundred percent believe that shit because the Chinese are smart people <laughs> and they want. The Chinese didn't. Inv- they, they didn't invent not even fortune even. cookies. The Americans invented fortune oh, cookies. Oh, all right. Fortune cookies were actually built in America because, all right, literally the. Then do- don't believe the fortune cookies either. Cause it's not Chinese magic. <laughs> the, the, I'm just saying Chinese magic is real. The fortune cookie dough was so terrible that nobody wanted to buy it, so they they made it into like a Chinese food gag, pretty much, and then they started selling that at Chinese places just to get rid of it. That's the most American shit I've ever it heard is. in my yeah. life. Yeah, it's great. It's it's a great capitalist achievement, but it's just like it's it has nothing to do with China. At Don't all. believe that <laughs> shit either. Then <laughs> none. I've learned something new today. Mm-hmm. I did not know that those were not. No, yeah, they, they were originally I think like some sort of Jewish cookie. I'm pretty sure. No wonder fucking yeah. China hates us. You guys are assholes. We don't do this shit. Oh, here. also, also, uh, broccoli. I'm pretty sure does not grow in China. So, it, it, like the beef and broccoli shit. There's no broccoli in China. Well, that makes sense. Like that, that, that I could totally understand that the food is not like half yeah. of the food that's sold in Chinese food restaurants around here. It's not Chinese never food. We're gonna yeah. fucking see in China. <laughs> I, that. I get. Fortune cookies got me. I'm gonna be honest. I thought that was some. Oh yeah, check that shit out. It, I think it was made in like 1920. Well, now I'm so, pissed. Yeah. You know how much life decisions I've based off of fortune cookies? <laughs> and you're just talking shit about horoscopes. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I've no- Yeah, because I thought it was Chinese, come, and those people are actually magic. Those people. Listen, if there's, if there's one... <laughs> I found a corner in the gutter. It was right. <laughs> if there's one group of people in the world that I would think have some sort of mystical powers, it's fucking Chinese. I don't know why, but for some reason, it's like, you motherfuckers have been around for a long time. You've had you to even have watching seen. too much Big Trouble in Little China. I've been oh, watching. Good I've been watching too much. Dude. Good uh, reference. I've been watching too much uh, Six Avatar. Six demon bag, dude. <laughs> Fuck. I've been watching too much Avatar. Is the problem? Uh, oh, you know yeah. Can we talk about that? That uh, like it's fucking the amazing. resurgence. Oh, yeah. actually, the, uh, they're they're still coming out with the live action remake for Netflix. Well, gross. Yeah, again, gross. Again, no, it's gonna be for because the first like, one gross, yeah. sucked. The first live action was the worst thing I've ever watched in my life. It's it's written by the original creators of the original TV show. Fucking. Okay with it. But but they're doing it so like they're extending it out to be like a full series like adult version TV show. Cool. Good. With the original writers. You know, throw it on HBO that and I'll show, be cool with it. <laughs> boobs. Let's that get crazy. show boobs. D- like it's crazy because I remember when the show was still lo- <clears throat> on, you know, yeah. on air. Mm-hmm. Uh, loved it. Me and my sister would watch it and then I got to the point where like my whole family would sit and watch this show. Like the fact it that has, like, great life a Nickelodeon yeah. TV show, kids Nickelodeon TV show could just sit and you could it could entertain an entire family mm-hmm. yeah. that's how you know it's a good show like it tackles now that I'm rewatching it I'm realizing like all of the stuff that is tackling like the first three episodes play heavily into sexism mm-hmm. and like like it's just crazy how much like imperialism shit mm-hmm. like that like, whoa these guys were way ahead of their time they with were. this stuff and actually I, did, I just rewatched the show with my with my girls the other day and they Th- they connect with it, and they're like just little kids, yeah. pretty much. And like, it's, so if it's you're in isolation watch, with your family, still make those kids watch Avatar because it'll teach them life lessons. Yeah, you don't need school; just watch <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> just just, just fast forward to whenever Uncle Iroh speaks, and then yeah, you'll, you'll get Uncle lessons. Iroh speaks only, only Wisely. knowledge. Yeah. Oh, I heard another thing too. Hmm. So Uncle Iroh, the OG Uncle Iroh, the voice actor. Yeah. Did you hear about this? Yeah. That motherfucker. So he passed away mm-hmm. during the show, right? Yeah. And there was a song, and I don't remember the name of the song, <clears throat> that he sang, and it was his last episode he ever recorded. He sang this song. Oh, shit. Okay? Yeah, I think I know what you're talking so about. So then the new Uncle Iroh comes in, finishes out the show, okay? So he goes to like a con of sorts, like a <clears throat> Comic-Con or something, and the fans okay. want I'll him leave to re- sing I'm going to record it again on here. No, like he'll window. never, okay. he's never once sang right, it, and he never will sing it. Okay. He said that, you know, I don't remember the old, what? The old has actor's name. A tiny dick. But he said, no, that's down. his song. 
Um, and he's never sang mm-hmm. it. Wow. And it's like a pretty, It's I know well, it's it a pivotal a moment dick. in the TV show. And Hank yeah. he sings it. Because it, it, it explains like why he has the perspective that he does yeah. of the world. Yeah. And he's like, nope, I'll never sing it. That's his song. Good for That's him. I was like, good God, for having some integrity there. Talk you got to, you got to love that kind of respect, depth, man. Like that, it, that is, it's affecting people outside of the show. You know, that's, yeah. what, that's what to me speaks volumes. You know, I'll be honest. And there's respect. To take not a huge that. fan of of Ang's voice actor. Yeah, it just seems too. Well, I mean, he's a kid. I yeah, mean, yeah, it just seems too like. And I don't know because I remember as the story goes on, you know, he it become like his voice matures, mm-hmm. and then it's like okay. I get it because he's in the childhood phase, yeah, I mean, you know. He's at supposed this to be point, like, what, like eleven. He's, yeah, he's yeah. like a kid. He's a boy, and I get boy, boy. I, mean, boy. I get that, but it's like I'm just waiting for it to get dark. <laughs> for him it gets, to be more it gets pretty gritty. crazy because I know it gets dark again. And yeah, I mean the end of that show was so fucking it was good, nuts. Man. Yeah. I'll never forget. We all sat there and watched the finale. That was like a that was a key moment in my life. We were up north mm-hmm. at the cabin. And we're all of us were watching it. Like my whole family watched the finale, and it was nuts. Dude. <laughs> that ending was nuts. I do remember that. Actually, I'm excited to get there again. I'm ready for to it. To re-experience it. Yeah. yeah. As and now we can do it while we drink. <laughs> yeah. Now I can do it while I'm getting hammered. Ah, Let's do this. Hell yeah, I love it. Not again. No, don't do it. <laughs> he wasn't ready. Oh man. Um, what, are, what other like childhood fucking movies or TV shows really got to you guys like that? I, do you guys remember the movie uh, Secret of Nim by chance? Like about the rats that come out of that yes. science lab? Yes. I don't that know. one that wears like a red coat that's if like a I mom. watched it, but I, I no? know oh it. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why, but that one, that one always was just like was burned into my memory. Um, there's a really fucking terrifying scene with this like owl in the middle of this like log thing that she's trying to Oh, when to. she picks. You, I have seen that movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. It just freaked me the fuck out when I was a kid. Have yeah. you guys seen the Spiderwick Chronicles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that Dude, one. The I, read book, the books, I read the yeah. books, man. Those books got me. And then when yeah. I saw they were coming out with a movie, I was like, fuck, fuck. yes. Yeah. Ooh, I got a childhood one that got What's me. What's up? This one got me. Bridge to Terabithia. Bridge to oh, Terabithia. That one got me. Oh, no. That one yeah. got me. My brother just sent me a meme the other day. It was Anna Sophia yeah. Robb and then the rope. <laughs> the rope. It, says, it says, my plans for 2020. And it's Anna Sophia Robb dressed up in Bridge to Terabithia. And then it says... 2020's plans for me and it's the rope with that's disconnected so bad oh, <laughs> so man. fucked up that's so fucked up that's so, so fucked, fucked up <laughs> that movie though that movie got me that, that was, was a good, good one fucking movie yeah. mm-hmm. was a good w- wasn't uh wasn't zoe deschanel the teacher in that one yeah i think so and yeah yes and, and it was not... josh hutchinson was yeah he was the just boy. a kid yeah he was a young kid back then mm. man zoe deschanel is not aged like at all she doesn't age jesus she was married to There's the, just clones. She was married to the guy, uh, the singer from Death Cab for Cutie for a while. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, apparently they had a pretty toxic relationship. So. Makes sense, coming from an emo band. Yeah. I, I like Death You're Cab, not though. necessarily wrong. <laughs> See, I never, I never really got big into Death Cab for Cutie. I like Death Cab. Yeah. Um, I was uh, much more of like the used and mm-hmm. all those guys from my too. emo phase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's not even talk about um, that cringeworthy life experience. Did you guys ever used to watch Fern Gully by chance? Um, it's about like this movie, like about the pixies or something. Yeah, uh, I, the, I know the name, but I've never watched. This it. human gets like shrunk down. He has to try to like get back to normal life. Wasn't that like Tumbelina? No, yeah, that's a different one. Thumbelina. Thumbelina. Yeah. yeah. No, Fern Gully was a totally different thing. But they had this bad guy that was the most badass looking bad guy of all time, and it was this. Just this one movie about like environmental awareness or whatever. Yeah, right. So their their bad guy was named Hexus, and he was just like this living embodiment of like oil and grease and fire and shit like that. And towards the end of the movie, he like basically absorbs this fucking like broke down like oil tanker, mm-hmm. and he becomes this gigantic black skeleton thing that's on fire. And that shit was like nightmare fuel. I want to see if I could find that for you. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, as a kid, I was like, fuck, I'm going to save the planet. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I want to save the planet. Where do I get one of those rings, Captain Planet? Hire me. <laughs> Mom, I'm leaving. I'm going to save the planet. How are you going to do that? I'm going to... I don't fucking know. I'm going to go save the planet, though. <laughs> I got to go fight a giant flaming skull or something. I don't know how this yeah, works. that thing. Oh, shit. That, that was in a kid's movie. <laughs> That is horrifying. That's fucking, and the thing was that's just swinging nuts. around and screaming and burning shit. And I was like, horrifying. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's fucking, that's nuts, dude. Yeah, like it comes out like that. Oh, dear God. Fucking goddamn, dude. You had some fucked up childhood yeah, TV man. shows. We've talked about that, though. 
Shit uh, was more hardcore when we were kids. Hell yeah. We, that's why we're hardened fuck. fucking people nowadays. Give a fuck about that. I'm happy I have that hard show. They killed show. all the kids. <laughs> they killed all the parents in Disney movies. We didn't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Fuck Bambi's dad. Fuck Mufasa. Fuck you, fuck Mufasa. Mufasa. Actually, I actually don't fuck Mufasa. No, he, was, don't. He, was a, he was a G. He was a great man. R.I.P. to great Mufasa. Cat. <laughs> great cat. Great cat doing big things out here. <laughs> we out here. We out here. Oh, my God. Well. Why, why was it that, like, all the fucking Disney parents were, like, dead? That was I. They, they was had to. They that, had to create tragedy, man. Something, of yeah. Them like rising up. Yeah. To because the literally, it was, can you imagine being in? <laughs> imagine being as at, like at a meeting, like a storyboard meeting, for a new pitch for a movie for a Disney mm-hmm. movie back then, right? And you pitch this amazing movie. You go, okay, look, listen, I want to do something where it's a little bit more about the environment. It's kind of about uh, maybe about a deer, and he makes friends with other wildlife animals. And then, like, one of the execs is just sitting there. And then we shoot his mom. (laughs) What if we fucking kill his parents? Jesus. And they're just like, yes. Yeah, kill his parents. Kill his parents. And they're in your list. You're just like, the guy that creates this is just sitting there like, hold on. Like, we can do this without creating. Nope. No. No. Parents dead. Kill them or we don't want it. (laughs) Done. Go to fucking Pixar or somebody else. We don't (laughs) want it unless you kill those fucking parents. (laughs) I, I wonder if they do that. To, like make make like these main characters mostly orphans because it gives them the opportunity to, to like not have boundaries like parental boundaries. Yeah, it's like in Harry Potter like, themselves. Like, wh- where's the parental guidance for Harry Potter and shit like that? You know, until he found Hagrid, man. That yeah, was exactly. Like, there's true. no guidance. Uh, like he can just go over and do what the fuck he wants. Like, to look, I'm gonna make stop. a movie. It's gonna be about this girl, this little girl. She's gonna meet an alien, and they're gonna become friends. All right, but what if we kill her parents? <laughs> All right. We don't have to that. do that. This whole movie is not based off of killing her parents. Do it anyway. She can her just parents be, are dead. Her <laughs> sister's been taking care of her the whole time. She could just be like a, you know, she could just be rebellious. No, nope, kill her fucking parents or we don't want it. I mean, Jesus, it's fucking all like now that you have me thinking about this, it's all of them. Every yeah. one of them. It Every was a single the, one like of them. you had There's, if you presented a storyboard to Disney back then, you had to have your first template be how do you kill the parents? <laughs> yeah. I mean, fuck, there was Lion King, Cinderella, Lilo and Stitch. Uh, fucking all of them. They're all Tarzan, fucking, Bambi, Tarzan, Tarzan, Bambi. Literally every fucking movie that Disney came yeah. out with. Yeah, and there's they always were them there's off. always like the arch nemesis in those scenarios where like they tell you how the parents died. Mm-hmm. There's always that arch nemesis that they have to go after. I mean, with Mufasa, there's and it's scar. Still, well, and I 100 percent believe that Cinderella's mom is like uh, it's like old timey Carol Baskin, where she just killed the fucking dad to get the castle oh, and dude. shit. I mean, yeah, that well, makes sense. yeah. Well, 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 okay, and it's not even necessarily always the parents. Yeah. Like, nowadays, now they're getting real tricky with it. Moana. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. all right, we'll keep the parents. But kill her fucking grandma! Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's kill someone. Fine, let's Fuck just it. kill someone in the family. Someone has to die, has to die for or, uh, it to be an entertaining fu- I don't experience. even know if this was a Disney one. What was the one? Up. No, not Up. Oh, no, uh, don't even start me on that one. Uh, uh, Iron Giant, uh, where the Iron Giant does. No, no Iron one. Giant. Well, the dad wasn't there. Oh, that's it's, right. It's yeah. about Day of the Dead. Uh, oh, uh, Coco. Coco. Yeah. Dios de los muertos. Everybody fucking died. Everybody died. Now that one sort of makes sense because it's about. Well, it's based in the underworld. Yeah. 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 And I, him transcending, being able to accept death, and that was that's a good movie. True. Yeah. Coco was awesome, but there was no need <laughs> for some of these other movies. Yeah. Like hmm. Toy Story. Pretty sure the dad's dead in Toy Story. Because you never see the dad. They could just be divorced. Yeah. Oh, maybe just dipped out. There's there's been a lot of theories about that. Yeah. I think he's dead. Maybe just dipped out. He's got to be dead. Or they never they never touch on. Maybe the mom was just like huge into orgies and just doesn't know who the dad was. I mean, why why does Andy have brown hair and his sister has like bright blonde hair? Yeah. She's getting fucked. Andy's mom's a whore. She got that ass, that Pixar she got that ass. ass, that mom. Pixar. That That's thickums. a thing. Yeah, why do all, yeah, more, all the moms have more. more. <laughs> thick fucking, ass. Uh, was that Incredibles? Yeah, this oh, is Jesus Incredible. Christ. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck. Okay, there's the one. Well, wait, was that Disney? That was Pixar. They didn't kill anybody in that one. To be fair, they tried to. to be fair. Well, it's to a family fair. thing. Um, yeah, yeah it's all about the whole family being yeah, the unit. Incredible. You know? The Incredibles. You know somebody pitched it though. I mean, you, you, somebody yeah. was in that meeting room going, "Kill the baby." Well, because I mean, they even they even touched on that though when like they thought um, like the mom and the two kids were killed and like he was captured on, on the island. In yeah, the first yeah, one. they played on it and like they literally said like, "I'm not strong enough mm-hmm. like yeah. to lose you again. Like I'm not strong enough." 
Because he almost broke. Like when yeah. he when he thought he, his family had been killed, Died, right. he wanted to kill that chick. Yeah, so. I forgot he almost fucking snapped yeah. her neck. Yeah, yeah, I remember Jesus. that. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I got real. That movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you imagine? But that moment. Imagine dude, the like, route. That's what that was about. Imagine you know? the route in an alternate universe that that movie could have taken if they actually did die, and he Where just he becomes a supervillain, a supervillain, yes. and just starts ripping people apart. I would just pay like, so much. Just money. like a Dark Knight scenario. Where Release the Snyder fucking... Cut of Incredibles. <laughs> yeah, Snyder Cut. Oh, hey, that's getting released. You either die... Or... The Snyder Cut's getting released on HBO. Oh, what nice. Yeah. The what? Cool. The Snyder Cut of Justice League. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that, like yeah. It's a four-hour movie. It'll be fuck dark yeah. as fuck. It's supposed to be, so yeah. I'm excited for that shit. Yeah, I don't... Oh, man. Well, I mean, you either, yeah. what, either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. What if the Snyder Shout out to is, Batman. Yeah. What if the Snyder Cut is so popular that it actually revamps the whole DC? I fucking yeah. hope it does. Yeah. I hope well, 110 percent because I like Justice League. I did not like the fucking the most recent movie. No. I thought it was garbage. I hope that the Schneider cut because you could tell right away, dude, from all of his other build up films and mm-hmm. stuff. Like, isn't the Justice League naturally supposed to be a darker universe? It's got Batman. Kind of, but it's supposed <laughs> to be dark as fuck, isn't and it? And like they Batman. built, yeah, they built up Superman to be this dark, conflicted figure. Mm-hmm. And then, which I think is a smart way to go with that. Absolutely, to be yeah. He, well, because I mean, he Put some always realism behind it. Yeah, he always fought with. I mean, they they touched it on uh, on uh, injustice, where like he had made that turn. Mm-hmm. You know, like he made he made that decision. Like, fuck this, the world can't keep themselves safe. I'll do it. So like he literally becomes like this dictator, like this god entity, and controls the world through fear and mongering, and. That's that. That was Superman. That was that was the other side of the coin. You, instead of being this this you know superhero like master of a uh, master of all, you know, mm-hmm. like he's now the fucking most evil dude on the world. But he does that to protect everybody. So it's like a dark dark night scenario as well, where it's like I'm doing what needs to be done to protect the greater populace. Mm. Interesting. So it's a yeah, it's a super interesting. Because he's, thing. he's think, thinking universal as well, not yeah. just on one planet. Right, he's yeah, also right. got a universe. You know, whereas Batman. Yep. He doesn't know the universe. He's just kind of hanging out on yep. the earth. But I'm Batman. I'm Batman. 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 You know, somebody fucked me up the other day when I saw that post that said Batman. Batman's superpowers could be taken away with an IRS audit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yep. damn, they fuck, they fucking me up with Batman. Yeah, his, his superpower meant his, his superpower is just embezzlement, right? Mm-hmm. Pretty much, he's just having Wayne Tech f- like fund his entire fucking operation. It's literally yeah. just funneling money into his own Mr. secret Wayne. operation. He's Mr. literally Wayne. a criminal in his own right. Yeah, what the fuck? He's just he's just beating up other criminals, but he's the most dangerous criminal of all. Right? He's literally a politician. <sighs> Man, he's, that's actually kind of frustrating. He's taking right? money. Well, he's not even. He's he's better. He's semi better than a politician because at least he's using I mean, his money to fight crime, <laughs> whereas they're using their money to fuel more crime. So. Imagine if Shout Jeff, out to all the politicians out there. Imagine if Jeff Bezos just like covered himself in black and went to go beat up criminals in the street. I'd laugh my fucking <laughs> ass off. If I saw a bald-headed motherfucker just going around beating the shit out of people, I'm 100%. They call that's me fucking Jeff Bezos. Cue ball. They call Cue ball. Bezos man. Bezos man. <laughs> Amazonian. <laughs> Amazonian man. He's just white. Like he gets shot and he's like covering up his wounds with hundred dollar bills. <laughs> I am the Amazonian. He covers oh. no, he co- he covers it in an Amazon sticker, like sticker. <laughs> he, oh, yeah, the, he orders like a suture kit on Amazon up prime. <laughs> a drone comes in and just <laughs> drops it onto him. <laughs> oh man, I wonder if he gets like instantaneous delivery whenever he orders some shit. Uh, he was, he's set to be the world's first trillionaire. That man, if he doesn't use half of that money. To become a like a fucking superhero, he's wrong. He's lying. Mm-hmm. He needs to team up with Elon Musk, and they need to create an Iron Man slash. No, because then there's Batman. gonna be some sort of injustice league going on. Yeah. That I don't want to be. I'm about part it. Of. You know why? Because I'm just a simple human being. I just sit back and watch these superpowers fuck if each Jeff other. If Jeff Bezos up. had a whole fucking scar over his eyes, he could totally be Blofeld. Well, from James Bond. Yeah. You think he'd be the villain? Jeff Bezos? Yeah. He would have no fucking problem being the villain. Yeah. I think you guys are just saying that because he's got a lot of money. No. Fuck. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I have no problem with that. It's just a fucking, like, he is a, he's not a very cool dude. Oh, listen, I all I know is I've talked to people that have worked for Amazon, and everyone that I've talked to that's worked for them have loved their experience there. What do they do for work there? The shipping and packaging really? in houses. Oh, yeah. shit. Everybody loved it. Everybody told they, me that they, they, were like, hated it. they were like, the benefits I got were superior the one person i knew they worked uh <clears throat> three days a week hmm. and or no four days a week they worked monday tuesday had wednesday off worked thursday friday and had saturday sunday off 
Shit. And they got full benefits, full retirement, everything. And good pay. Damn. Hour. So I was like, wow, it's not terrible. Well, I know we're supposed to, we're supposed to be getting ours here in Beloit pretty soon. soon. Right? Yep, yeah, soon. That'll I'm be interesting. Excited. But uh, I'm gonna get that two hour delivery, son. Oh shit! But, but uh, have you, did you guys hear about the person that like died on their floor like oh, a week yeah. ago? Yeah. The yeah, one that got ran over. No, somebody oh. like just died having a heart attack in one of their uh, one of their uh, oh, warehouse shit. floors, and they, 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 people were working over them because they, they thought they just passed out and they thought that the the EMS has been called already. So they were just w- w- working over a dead body. For like three hours. Well, that's, that's just like that? people being fucking dumb. Yeah, that's people. That's not Jeff Bezos. That's yeah, let's people. not let's not check on the person who had fell, and you know, see if they need any help. Yeah, fuck you know, them. Oh, fuck it. I got yeah. shit to do. Fuck yeah. All right, well, we're going down a tangent now. So we, better, <laughs> we better end this episode and go into our live for this one. Yeah. Um, thank you, everybody, yeah, for joining us you. again. I uh, hope you guys had fun with a our gun? personality te- a gun. A gun with our personality well, test. We just got um, flagged. Yeah. Oh no, a gun. No. Again. no. Um, but hopefully you guys try the personality test too. Leave a comment. Let us know yeah. what your results were and everything. Um, I want to know the crazies. Yeah, I want to know who's we'll a psychopath. Um, make sure to check out our YouTube channel for those of you that are just listening to go subscribe. P- press, press, pass. Mm. Run a train on it. Hit it. Don't quit it. Just do the damn thing on that subscribe button. Hashtag Road to One K. Um, make sure to check us out on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash WWLTW podcast. Join at any tier, and you get all kinds of fun stuff out of it. You get to join our super secret Facebook group, which is awesome. Uh, join our, or go check out our Teespring, teespring.com, in the description below. We got mugs with our mugs on it. We got t-shirts with our mugs on it. We got everything with our mugs on it. Go check it out. Come join us at astrodesigncompany.com. I was like, what the fuck are you pointing at before? <laughs> Come join us at astrodesigncompany.com. Uh, we'll get you a new website. Feel free to let us know that you came from the podcast, and we'll get you a discount. Do it. Do it. Do it. Also, hit it and submit it. Hit it, submit it, don't quit it. What up? Uh, check out Thirst Thomas on the YouTube channels. We got collabs with him coming up. Go check him out. He's got cool stuff. Check out Johnny Wishbone on the YouTubes. He's got more views than our videos do, so that should tell you something. Go watch Avatar The Last Airbender. Go watch it. <laughs> Let us know what life lessons you learn. Uh, Shout out to Uncle Iro. Uncle Iro. Flipping them all. Uh, and what else? Uh, Skillshare. That's it. Oh, yeah. Check out Skillshare. Skillshare.com. Yeah. We don't have an affiliate with that. Hashtag not sponsored. Go check Hashtag that out. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag parentheses yet. Parentheses. Parentheses yet. Um, <laughs> anyways, guys. Thank you very much. And Bye. we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Is it cool if I steal some coffee? Wait. I want to end it on a different note. Wait. 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 What has... We're not recording. No, we are. Remember, that's our recorder. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll okay. even... I'll even re- I'm gonna I'm gonna record again on here to do a new ender. Okay. Ready? All right, I have a joke for you guys. What's okay. Up? What has a tiny dick and hangs down? What? A bat. What has a huge dick and hangs up? God <laughs> damn it. We could not put that on the there. Oh, it's going on. Oh, no. That is going on.